there's different tricks to get the chorus to impact more again there's there's ways one i mentioned earlier where you save the real low bottom end for the for the chorus other other ones are width where you make it wider in the chorus tighter in the verse can be choice of reverbs where suddenly you get more depth going this way so you know the top end opens up you know so there's sonic ways in addition to of course the arrangement which you're hoping that the arrangement will do it on its own without having to do all these things but that's not always the case which is where experience and and different approaches to enhance what you've got is going to really kick that chorus into 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 where it needs to be there's there's also the use of the stereo i mean sometimes master engineers will do this anyway where you you may have the the master fader down of course this isn't really done in the box nobody's really can really do that you can do it to the stereo mix but you can't do it to the multi uh you know to the multi tracks this would be a post production thing but for us on the analog desk we can do that and it's a matter of maybe you're saving the real impact for the bridge and so you you've got it at you know you've got your fader down to 2 dB or so and then when you finally hit the bridge you up comes the fader and so the whole record sounds a lot louder and the impact is even bigger you can do that between verse and chorus so you know up until the first chorus you you got the fader down a little bit and then bang it you hit it and then maybe you bring it back a little bit for the second verse and then back up it it just depends on how the arrangement on its own is working if the arrangement is fine and these things aren't necessary then you leave it alone but if it's lacking a certain instrumentation that allows for that on its own then that's when you step in as a mixer and try to help help these these transitions to become more impactful